I apologize, Sage. Okay. Ooh, are you AFK for a minute? You sure? Okay, so since it seems like I'm in charge. Okay. Um, let me tell you the one about, um, so the other day, um, I actually adopted a dog from a blacksmith, but as soon as I got home, I made a ball for the dog. Wait, did I say I made or it made? I'll have to start it again. So the other day, I adopted a dog from a blacksmith, but as soon as I got, it got home, it made a ball for the dog. <laughs> I said, <laughs> you can't drown me out with the nom gun. Nom, 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 Sorry, back. Welcome back, Sage. I was just telling some really good stories while you were gone. I see. Did they involve dogs and blacksmiths? One of them did. In, how did you guess? That's crazy. How did you? How did you? How did you? How did you guess? It's almost like my specialty is reads. <laughs> oh, I thought your specialty would be tells. Touche, eh? Touche. You have a good point. So, I do have to ask Sage, across your, um, across your, your month of doing fighting games, um, and obviously trying out new, new fighting games, what's been your favorite? Uh, hmm. Out of the ones I've so, played this month, mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of enjoying this one. This one, to be fair, Soul Cal is super, super fun. Also, I've also been very much a fan of Lead the League of Blaze for the longest, so... <laughs> what the hell am I looking for? It's drunk. <laughs> and when you saw her face... <laughs> You're a believer. Not anymore, I'm not. Power of my words sink into your still underestimate me. Ah, Kevatis. Oh no. Touch. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, I've revealed your head. No. Very nice. You saw nice. my face. Very good. Are you a believer? <laughs> you a high believer? Maybe. Maybe. Without a trace, are you out of your mind? Maybe. Oh, doubting your mind, even. Ah! Crap. Very nice. Thought I was guarding. Nice shot. Wow. Yeah, did you like that? Ah, crap. <laughs> the grab two? <laughs> yeah, I got the grab two. Tell me to run. Ah, 
Oh crap. Ow! Nice work. <laughs> you can't defeat the shrunk? At this rate, I really can't. Oh. oh, wow, that is bad. We are gonna die, at least. No. Oh. Filthy raw super. Zawaruto! <laughs> yari yari does it. No! No, he didn't! Yari yari does it. Draw the ruler! I love, I love that in that game, if you, um, and, and, um, JoJo's, uh, Eyes of Heaven, if you actually play as Dio and Jotaro, and when Dio uses it, if Jotaro manages to use his as well before it, like, it, it uh, gets to a certain point, you actually do the Rotor Roller, and then Jotaro survives underneath it. Really? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like a special interaction that you can get from, uh, from like using those specific characters. It's really, really cool. The kneecaps. That's actually kind of cool. No. I like Jotaro's the only character who can do it. I mean, it makes sense. He's the only one who can actually fight Dio. Uh huh. I've, I've met more than one person who said that JoJo's, they like JoJo's for the first two um, parts, but they didn't like the other parts. And I'm like, no, nah, I love that they like went their own unique way with stands because Welcome it meant the that they weren't just like retold. too close to Fist of the Northern Star. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you fought Shrunk. Where's Shrink? I'm gonna need one if I get it. Well, I mean, in this next match, I'm not only going to defeat you, but you're going to get Shrek. Why? <laughs> it's all ogre. It really is. <laughs> oh, hello there. It really is all ogre. Rah, I'm an ogre. A merchant ship replete with riches attracts more kings oh, than customers. Oh, dear lord heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you never when Shrek said that in the movies. No! Oh. You're kicking my ass. No one's safe from the Voldo. Ow! Ow! What? You gotta be kidding me. That's twice today. How the hell? The uppercut punch. No, no, you're kicking my butt. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, you blocked me. I didn't get, I didn't get the grab off. No. Oh, <sighs> I didn't have enough health to survive. Barely ducked into that one. Yeah. Yeah, if you hadn't killed me then, you would have got grabbed. Oh, I believe it. Oh my god. You're kicking my ass. Ah. What? I grabbed you too! What? Mm. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> nice work. It seems like you're getting shrecked. <laughs> uh, I keep getting away with this. 
Spin. Oh, jeez, what? Excuse me? Oh? I was guarding. Ugh. Very nice. Very nice. It was too late. For the fallen, you fought so bravely. After right. the second block, I didn't know what to do. Right, I need to dip for about five minutes just to sort something out, and then I will be right back to kick your butt. So I will be back in a sec. In the meantime, I'll, uh, I guess show off the character creator. Make something. So, to show the character creator... Actually, the only one that I haven't shown off is, uh, this one. Which is Keelik. You can choose to either make a, make a completely original character or just tweak the design of it, one of the regulars. If you ch decide to make your own, you've got a bundle of different options. Ranging from automatons to colossi, undead, and everything in between. I wish there were more options for the outcast, but maybe that's just me being furry. Some of these are locked behind currency that you can only obtain through uh, playing the main game. Normally has like a type. Eh. Let's see what else attack. hell is that? That's a really weird headpiece, but okay, let's let's roll let's rock it. This one's gonna be for Keelik, so but not kill like I mean. That's a uh... Unfortunately, there's nothing like a. Actually, no way. I could technically go Ivy. Even though Casey doesn't really use a sword. Her weapon of choice is usually like a, a hammer on a chain, so. 
that's as close as I can get. Okay, that looks cool. You can also change the bodily parameters. I'm not gonna be. But one of the bigger ones that does actually have an influence on stats is... Not one that's tweakable here, huh? I just don't think. Oh no, wait, never mind. It's uh, specifically height and build. Changing the character's height will modify their power and reach. It varies depending on the race, but usually the taller the character, the more reach they have, but the less power they have. Oh, I guess build doesn't really change much. Plus three. You also get voice samples of a lot of different oh, varieties. You wish to fight me? Won't let me pass, huh? Wanna have some fun? Let's get this over with. Care to dance with me? Are you ready? You look nice and tough. Let's get this fight started. So, you wanna fight? Will you fight me? Okay, let's get this started. Will so, let's you look nice and tough. Let's go. You look nice and tough. This one. You look nice and tough. You look nice and tough. Let's go about here. Manifestation adjusts echo effect slash distortion. Explained in story, manifestation is a sort of corruption. Also changed a lot of the colors of equipment. I'm trying to remember exactly what colors Casey uses. Nice lavender. All right, can also change the saturation with shoulders. So if you want it lighter or darker, that's an option. Actually, come to think of it, I don't fully remember what colors I normally give Casey's clothes. Lighter brown on the belt. Let's try that.
Should I bet him on? Can't really see that all too well. Changes that lower segment. So underpants of some type, I think. Curious if I can like put an overskirt on this. Could potentially. Some of these clothing options are a little bit uh, questionable. So that's why I've been trying to have a policy with Ox. Uh, try to keep things mostly PG-13. Somewhat stream safe. that. And you can also initiate a mock battle, just so you can test it out. It's less to test the character and playstyle, and more about seeing how the clothing ends up looking. That goes into a form, which you can then immediately execute a move out of. A feather input anywhere. Or gallop. No, wait, there is. So, square circle seems to be a gallop. Makes sense considering what type of character Ivy is. Let's see, triple input is move, I think. Either that or it has to be in the running state. I could also just check the. Uh, I could also just open up the training room after I'm finished with this. That might be an option.
because I'm very much a proponent in fighting games that if you're going to be learning to play one, go to the training room. Please, you owe it to yourself. It lets you not only Welcome check the, the move list for a character, but also figure out how they operate a little more succinctly. To properly show off. Because there were a few moves on Tira that I want to double check. Because I remember there being a sort of grab I could perform at some, with some input. I don't remember the input. I know it's a two button attack. So we can go over to the dual button attacks menu and take a look. What the hell attack is that? Guard impact versus high middle. May change personality. So BKKK. Okay. And that's a free switch. In training mode, there are certain unique ways to input moves. I don't know, necessarily know why, specifically because you can only do so in training mode. Revenge attack. Oh, so that's what I was doing. Remembering. Back, BBB. That's the move! That's the move I want to execute. I guess you can only do it in Jolly. Was there anything that I could do while in Gloomy that flips me over to Jolly? Down forward, A, A, B. doing that, so I'm not sure why he wasn't rocking then. Maybe I should just do that as my, uh, quick switch. Back AB. So down AB. Otherwise, find a simpler move I can execute. No, I guess there isn't a simpler move, so... Down A, A, B. Just need to figure out a good way of executing that. I'd also like to mention... Hyper also changes a little bit, depending on mood. So in Gloomy, you get something like that, but while Jolly... It just does that. It still flips you over to the opposite form. I guess that's meant to be an anti-air. That's another one. That's another attack I want to input. Cause that looks really cinematic and cool. But finding a way to fit it into the combo is tricky. Get off madness. Hold down the button. Maybe if I reset, I can try to use that move. Damn it, Soul Charge, she can really get moving. Oh, that's what that does. Okay then. Because normally in training modes, there's a way to quick reset your position. Okay, both bumpers to reset. Got it. Yes, I am! Because there is no way in hell I could play this game on keyboard. Also, hello! Hope you're doing well. 